the 1960s and in the close-knit community of Stocksbridge in South Yorkshire, annual events like galas and garden parties can be remembered thanks to a film club funded by the town's then thriving steelworks. In the late 50s, early 60s, uh, a group of uh, 8mm film enthusiasts uh, approached the uh, social services organisation with the intention of setting up an amateur uh, cine club. Uh, the application was successful and some funds were given to them and they created a club called the Vixen Film Club. Uh, there were two or three enthusiasts at that time, uh, the prime movers being a guy called Dennis Leather and cameramen uh, Harry Haig and Roy Alders. Uh, now it just so happened that uh, uh, Dennis Leather was uh, a member of the, uh, of the council, he was a local councillor. Uh, at that time, the council uh, had a, a, a fairly big programme of uh, housing and other developments. So there were lots of things going to happen through the 60s and early 70s uh, on the council building programmes. Uh, and Dennis Leather suggested to the council that it might be a good idea if uh, Vixen Film Clubs were recruited to record uh, a diary of these events. Meanwhile, new housing schemes are nearing completion and the Wilson Road flats emerge as a fine modern development. I was never a, a, an active member of the Vixen Films, but uh, I was considered to have a sufficiently thespian voice to provide the commentary for these uh, video films. And uh, that's why uh, my voice appears on, on the recordings. Now, the opening of the new sewage plant at Deepcar. Uh, Dennis had a rather crude sort of uh, tape recorder with some uh, background music on. Uh, and my job was to watch the film and at the appropriate moment, fade the music and do the voiceover. When the voiceover was finished, cue the music back in again. So it was as crude as that, but it worked. The invited guests tour the new installation. Throughout the year, parades and garden parties were popular town events. Well known within the community were Helen, Angela and Sally Rag, better known as the Rag Triplets, who, along with their older sister Catherine, recall those summer days of their youth. The garden parties were for the Sunday school um, and every sort of, I don't know, every maybe once, twice a month even during the summer periods. Um, we used to go around um, each locality and meet up with um, people from various uh, sort of localities, um, whoever were the attendants of Queen's at that time. I remember life being centred around the church as children. It was something to do, you know, we, there, there was always something going on. But I do remember being Sunday school queen uh, at 12. I'm, I'm sure it's something that 12 year olds would frown upon now, really, but uh, it was quite a big event. Yeah, we used to par parade round Stocksbridge and Deep Car and uh, make a speech, uh, raise money. I think that's what we did. I had a pink dress, a pink dress with a red velvet cloak and a crown. But I just remember sneaking platform shoes underneath it. You know, that was my little bit underneath. <laughs> we all sort of had the same shoes, the same dresses, the same coats. Um, and, it, you know, everybody knew us as the rag triplets. My mum used to dress us. Obviously, when we got a bit older, we didn't like that idea. And we all dressed in our own, our own choice of clothes then, but when we were little, she used to dress us all alike. 